Okay, so now we're gonna do something more advanced with our fire. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty fast launching and some might say it, the animation is a little bit too fast. So how we can slow it down? We can uh, do several things. So of course, we need to uh, extend our timeline. So we're going to do it. We're going to go from 60 to 120. But uh, that doesn't actually slow the animation. As you can see, it stops at frame 60. So what we need to do is gotta go to our input and here we have play speed so we can do it 0.5 basically uh, we slowed it down uh, in half of the time and the blending we're going to use velocity basically smearing between uh, the two particles because we got simulated frame uh, 60 and 61 for instance and now if we stretch them, we're going to have a gap of uh, at least one frame in between. And we're going to use velocity uh, for a blending algorithm in order to have a nice smear between the particles. Okay, now what we need to do is go to our re-simulation and enable it. So in re-simulation mode, the preview and the render will not slow down the cache files and input path, but instead will show the resimulated cache files from the resimulation output and the render path. Okay, so that's basically what we're going to get when we're going to run the resimulation. Uh, we're not going to actually calculate it from the beginning. We're just going to use whatever we had before in order to just do the small adjustments. And the small adjustments come here with the AMP resolution. So we don't want much change in our animation. If you want to have more detail, you can put one here. But uh, this is how we're going to use our uh, grid resimulation, basically for fire, smoke, all that stuff that we need to resimulate. Um, this one, let's put 0.01. The red cutoff. So here we want the minimum, the minimal as possible because we want to keep what we've done earlier. And let's use blend control here with the method of slow down. So basically we're slowing down here. And um, here that's about it. So we can click play and resimulate. So you can see the simulation goes, runs much faster. We don't have to uh, wait as long as earlier to get our frames out. All right, so it took three minutes and 40 seconds to re-simulate basically half of the time um, that we did for 60 frames. I think it took about six uh, and a half minutes. And uh, voila, we have our slow-mo fire here, uh, which looks really awesome. And uh, I think it's a good time to render uh, the sequence and see how those flames looking in slow motion. Because it's really hard to understand from that simulation how the real deal looks. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to render. Active segment 0 to 100. And let's call this fire. Slow mo. All right, and the render is done. So let's go check out how it came out. Very pleasant. Nice and soft. I actually like it better than the previous one. Um, the, again, the render took pretty fast. It took about uh, 10 minutes to render the sequence. As you can see here, it's a nice, uh, solid four seconds of beautiful fire animation. Okay, so go ahead, check out the next videos.